Hey guys, this is Dennis, the founder of Think Hero. And I'm David Griffin, your resident comic book and video game guru. And this is our review of The Walking Dead Season 4, Episode 3. Isolation. Okay, so the big thing that gets revealed in this episode, mm -hmm. I didn't actually get to see. Oh yeah, I saw your tweet, yeah, yes. like your TV, your DVR cut off or whatever. My DVR the last, yeah. recorded The Walking Dead, did not get maybe the last 30 seconds, a minute, I don't know. Right, yeah. If you guys have Time Warner, don't ever get Time Warner because they're, <laughs> they're terrible. And so I didn't see it. Right. I posted on Facebook, hey guys, right. what happened at the end? I saw Rick talking to Carol and then it cuts off. Well, Carol admitted, uh, did people fill you in? Yes. Carol. Okay, yeah, she admitted to killing, burning the two bodies. Okay. Yeah, she admitted to it. Uh, but Rick, Rick asked her because he yeah. knows, he knows. And she just said, as a matter of fact, that she's like, yeah. And then just kind of looked at him and walked away. Like, that was it. Enough, enough said. Then the episode just credits okay. roll after that. Credits roll. Yeah. Yeah. She says that matter of factly. But if you watch the episode, you'll see there's certain, like, there's where she, Tyrese comes and asks her to look after Sasha. Right. Yeah. You'll see her kind of break down after right. he leaves. She yeah. pushes over the water, which, you know. <laughs> she, it, it, it bothers her. Yes. It bothers her. But I think she's, the, the whole walking dead mentality is you got to do what you got to do. Uh -huh. I mean, that's the whole mentality of the series. So how do you feel about Carol, because you know she yeah. started off as a character that that seemed pretty weak in in season one, and All she's right. grown through like a steady. She didn't rush it. Like Andrea, I always felt like she was trying to rush, like being right. like this badass or whatever. No, or yeah. Carol, it seems like it's more pro progressing at a, a realistic and steady pace, and now she's gotten to this point where now she's willing to burn the bodies. But the question is, is does she kill them? And, or and burn them, or they already or, turned, and then or, she, yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, I think she's doing what needs to be done. I think. I mean, Rick's done some dark things, mm -hmm. you know. I mean, we have a comics that he obviously does some pretty horrible things. So I mean, everybody does what they need to do to survive. And I think she's doing that. I think she is probably the most well-developed character mm -hmm. on the show, maybe because of her progression. She came from this woman who's getting abused by yeah. her husband to you know this I don't know mothering type yeah she's, she's taking care of kids and, kids and now she's with Daryl yeah. I don't know what that's about but I mean you know like all this stuff has kind of gone on and she's yeah she's a great she's a well I'm fine with it I'm fine with it okay, it seems but, reasonable but now there's going to be problems I mean oh, Dar yeah. I mean right. think you talk about Carol and Daryl <clears throat> uh, rhyming names right. um, but <laughs> Daryl's the one who told Kyrie we're going to find out who did this and I'm going to put a bull in their head right yeah well, he's not going to put a bull in Carol's no. head I think it's just going to be one of those. I think Daryl will find out, but I think it's, I don't think Tyrese will find out right away. Mm -hmm. I think that might come into play maybe later on in the episode, later on in the season. I'm sorry, down the road a little bit. Like Rick and Daryl are going to find out, and they're going to keep it under wraps, right? Or something exactly. Like that. Yeah. Yeah. Don't well, tell. Well, I mean, anybody. Rick already found out, but I mean, he's going to tell Daryl, and then right. they're going to try and decide what to. Because it's really, it's Rick and Daryl's show. Yeah. I mean, they're running what happens right. Right. Uh, in that whole camp. Uh, I, and also, I just I think that that dynamic between like. Because Tyrese is not going to be happy. No, he's an angry dude. They made him really angry in this. <laughs> <laughs> he's an angry dude. I'm going kill like he's just sitting in the car, just, just twitching. Yeah. Like he's just twitching the car. You know he's going to come on and just well, kill him. Well, I mean, he fought, he fought Rick <laughs> right. and Daryl yeah. in the beginning. And then Rick went all crazy and right. stuff. And then later he kind of calmed down but still was upset. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then, yeah, that scene where he was in the car and he wouldn't get out no he was just sitting there he's just twitching he's just he knew he was building up to something yeah. he knew he was gonna get mad and a lot of people have been talking about on the web this is like kind of reenacting a famous scene mm -hmm. from volume three which i have here safety behind bars for those of you trying to catch up um this is kind of backtracking the scene's mm -hmm. a little bit different in the comic the scene is when he goes into the gymnasium mm -hmm. and he's trapped in there with like all these in the prison he's trapped in there with all these zombies you don't think he's gonna get out and of course, it, later on, they show that he does get out. So this was kind of reenacting that scene, paying tribute to that in a little bit different way. He was out in the open, yeah. of course, doing it this time. But yeah, I mean, he's he's a badass. I mean, he's I thought he was going to be. be. I thought he was going to be a goner. I yeah, mean, he was right. getting swarmed and swarmed, and then Daryl, right. um, the guy from the Wire. Oh, he's yeah, 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 yeah. Is yeah, his name yeah. Bob? Because I heard he's yeah. like, I heard Daryl's like, and then Bob. And, like Bob. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, let's say for 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 this ep uh, review, we call him Bob. Call him Bob. So. Right, yeah. Michonne, Daryl, and Bob take off without right. Tyrese. Yeah. And I was like, all right, Tyrese is He's a goner. goner. And that's how it is kind of in, in this book, too, but it's just a little bit different inside the prison instead. So he showed that he's, he's a tough guy. He can handle himself. Yeah. yeah. And then we, we kind of don't know what's happening with them because now they don't have their car anymore. Right, yeah. They still need to get the antibiotics. Mm -hmm. They're on the run. There's a lot of zombies around them. Yes. A lot of them. 
Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it just keeps going. I mean, it's just every week's more drama. You know? I mean, it's... It, it, every week now is kind of like, how are they going to get out of this situation? Mm-hmm. You know, is what this is kind of turned into, which is fine. I mean, you know, it's... Well, yeah, the main thing is still the flu. Right, the flu, the epidemic. Um, I originally had said that the same person must have burned the body that was feeding the zombies, but now yeah. it doesn't look like that. There's no reason Carol would be feeding the zombies. Right, yeah. But it makes sense that maybe of why she burnt the bodies. Right. Uh, some people in the comment section mentioned that they think it's the little girl. The little, yeah, one of the relationship, yeah. The little yeah. blonde girl. Yeah, mm-hmm. So, I don't know. Well, back to the whole flu thing. I, I really just hope it doesn't last too long. Mm. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. we got yeah, Glenn yeah. sick now. Like I'm like, no, you can't, you can't kill like the only like Asian no. guy <laughs> on the <this> show. <laughs> Gotta have that diversity. I'm sure they'll replace yeah. him if he goes. Down. <laughs> um, no, I yeah, I mean, I just hope it doesn't drag out. Just like a lot of things in the show. I mean, one thing I've talked, we talked about a lot here is I, I prefer the way the comic moves. I understand mm-hmm. for budget reasons they can't. I mean, they can't go from place to place mm-hmm. all the time. It's like, you know, the show's got a budget, but I think the comic moves a little bit better pace. Like, they have these scenes in the prison, but they also, they move. You know, mm-hmm. they go from different places. I think, I just don't want them to get stuck here. They have this huge group of people that we still don't really know that much about. Mm-hmm. I mean, from, you know, where the governor was, you know, in the town. So, I hope we kind of get a little more explanation to what those people are up to. Hopefully by the mid-season right. finale, that mm-hmm. they, they somehow get pushed out of the prison. And they yeah, go, let's just they, see know. something different. And also, they're going to cut down the numbers. There's, they're not bringing no. however, like 20, 30 people that they no, have. Too much, yeah. People are going to start right. to die. And now we, I mean, I know we're kind of going off track a little bit, but I mean, we also know that there is, they are developing a spinoff show. Yeah. And Kirkman's excited because he's never had a chance, especially from the comics, to tell a different point of view from another you know, area of the country. So, yeah, it's supposed to be West Coast. West Coast. So, I mean, I'll be curious to see what that's going to be like. You know, more, more Walking Dead, more zombies, more... Tough living. <laughs> it's tough living in this world. Tough living. <laughs> and then uh, Tyrese, you yeah. know, already dealing with his girlfriend's death. Now his sister's sick. She's sick, yeah. Uh, do you think she's a goner? I, I, I think she's going to survive. Mm-hmm. But I think Herschel's going to be a goner. Probably, yeah. I was going to ask you what you thought about the, him uh, in the woods, uh, you know, with Carl. What did you think of that moment? You know, just... I mean, I think it's fine. I think he's, it's, it's almost like he's accepted or wanting death. I mean, he goes right. in there with a the doctor and he just basically gets like blood spit on and he's yeah. just like, oh, I'll just take off my thing and wipe right. off my face. And it just almost seems like he's accepted it. He's ready to go. I mean, he had a nice little speech with, you know, with uh, Rick and, mm-hmm. and his daughter Maggie saying like, hey... You know, every time we go out and we risk our lives and stuff Herschel, like that. Herschel's always been kind of like the Obi-Wan of the group. Yeah. I mean, he's the wise sage that, you know, he just kind of gives advice, you know. I mean, that's that's what he's been. And somehow he's got his elderberry uh, tea formula that's right. going to help, like, keep the flu from killing people right, right. temporarily. I mean, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I keep, I, it's always hard for me to talk about the show at week from week because I'm not sure where the season's going. I don't mm-hmm. know what their goal is. I mean, again, that's just something you have to, you have to wait and find out. Yeah. So, I don't know. I, I want them to move past the flu thing, though. Yes. I've, we need I've, an antagonist. I think that's it. Maybe that's it. There's just nothing besides the zombies, but they're always, but that's yeah. always been the greatest thing about The Walking Dead, you know, from the comic and everything else, is the zombies are more of a backdrop. Well, the zombies for a are more discussion. like a force of nature. Right. They're like a, a disaster, like right. a hurricane right. or an earthquake or something. They're the thing that's right. the danger that's present, but they're not, you know, right. they have no motivation. They're, you know, they're yeah. just killing people because they want to eat the flesh, but they don't, right. they don't like, oh, we, we don't like those people or let's take what they have. It's right. They just... They're just doing what they're supposed to be doing. And last season we had the governor who did a good job, but I think since that story was never really resolved, Mm -hmm. I think everything from season three, end of season three, is still hanging on this season. And it needs to somehow find a way to move past that. I'm not sure how. Well, they need to bring the governor back. They need a a short storyline with him. Yeah, don't drag that out. And then kill him off. Right, yeah, exactly. (laughs) Because that's that's what we we thought was going to happen at the end of season three. Yeah. that's not everybody won this big epic season finale and it just it just didn't deliver so yeah. yeah they need to they need to resolve that what do you think about carl tagging along with herschel in the woods he still seems a little uh gun happy a little trigger happy he wants to yeah he, always, always shoot stuff it's tough with kids i mean you know he's he's pouting you know <laughs> he's like i don't know he's like i don't want to be stuck with the kids i'm still with a bunch of little kids like he's so <laughs> grown up and tough <laughs> I think, and it's not the, it's not the actor's fault, this no. before, but I mean, he's just grown up. He's, he's hit the stage as a kid. The actor's grown up too fast. In the comic, he still feels 
like a little kid. Mm -hmm. He's got the little kids. Still, he still wears the hat. I mean, well, he still wears the hat in this episode. He does wears the hat. He just he just feels too old to me. Mm -hmm. So he's I don't know. He's coming off more of an adolescent now than a little kid anymore. That's not it's not his fault. It's yeah. just he, in the comic they can keep them young. They can draw them any age they want to. Yeah. And he's just growing up. So I don't know. Carl's Carl. You know, he's <laughs> tough. He wants to be grown up. He wants to be like his dad. He wants to be the leader. Uh -huh. And then what do you think about like with Michonne and Daryl? Remember because Daryl's like, oh, you're going to run off again? Yeah. And she's like, what are you talking about? Well, I, mean, I think Daryl, when he first joined the group, felt like an outsider. Mm -hmm. I think Daryl and Michonne have maybe had a little bit of a bond because yeah. now Michonne, I mean, she's not an outsider anymore, but I think she still feels that way. And no, nobody wants to see her go. She's tough. She's yeah. badass. Well, yeah. Daryl and Michonne are the two badasses exactly. of the show. Yeah, I can't leave. It'd be <laughs> awful. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So that's what we thought of the episode. You can post your comments below on the website or on our YouTube channel. That's uh, Think Hero Pro. Make sure you subscribe to that channel. If you want to come chat with us on Twitter, uh, you can find Dennis and I uh, at Think Hero. Uh, personally, I'm at Griffin DE. And we also have a Facebook page. That's uh, facebook.com slash Think Hero Fans. And make sure you like that page. Uh, take our video and share it on Twitter or yeah. Facebook and all that stuff. So uh, and you can always chat with us.